Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 13. As always, let's spend these two skill points before we roll out. I'm gonna throw a point into Better Barter Level 1 and let's just throw a point into Agility. All right, let's deal with this crawler. He's been out of here all night. Oh shit, and a bear. Uh, we'll ignore the bear. This guy's gotta go though. Fuck you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good on meat, so we'll just uh, let that bear live. I do want to go see the trader first thing this morning, but he ain't open yet, so maybe we can find a place to loot before we head that way. And uh, look at this up here. Looks like the church got a makeover. Is this uh, dungeon style now? The front doors are boarded up. That's a good sign. Let's check it out. One thing I wanted to show you guys, though, is that I only have two jars of honey left. I had to eat a second jar last night to fully cure this infection because a jar of honey only clears up 5% of an infection. And since mine was at 7%, uh, once it hit 2%, I had to eat another jar. Look at this. I guess it is a dungeon style now. Yeah, wake up, you bunch of fucking degenerates. No sleeping in church. Come here, let me... Cleanse you of your sins with my holy hammer. Yeah, the holy shotgun works a lot better. Boom! Cleaned right up. Repent. That's probably not a bad idea. Welcome, my son. Oh, I just had an epiphany when I called him my son. If we do a pastor series, we should call it Father Glock. That's much better. Boom! Oh, thanks for that, buddy. Look at him, contributing to the collection plate. I guess this is the way to go, right here. I got more zombies coming in. They're not gonna stop, I got a feeling. Here we go. Oh, a stripper. You definitely need to repent, lady. I can smell the sin coming off of you. Oh, we can make a base here real quick and easy. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, here's my office. Let's check this closet. Oh! Toilet! In the closet? Alright, paper, I'm good. Uh, that key probably opens that door, and I'm not ready to do that just yet. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's check the bookcases. Paper. Uh, sham chowder recipe and the super corn seed recipe. I'll sell both of those things, and more paper. Oh, shit, looks like we're going down here. 22 bucks. Okay, um... Should I open that door? I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, maybe I should grab those keys just in case it also opens something down... down below. You know what I mean? This way we don't gotta come back up here and... and do that. Whoop. Boom. Oh, hey, buddy. A lot of zombies hiding in walls in this alpha. Get up. Dead. Boom. Oh, shit. Gotta check my corners better. He must have been hiding back there. Boots. Twelve bucks. I'm good. And we can't search that luggage. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get up. Oh shit. Alright then. Kenny. You the only one down here, Kenny? Not much of a trap, you know? Uh, some trash, and then we'll head upstairs and grab that trash that I missed. I'm good on that. All right. Let's keep it going. It's getting awfully creepy down here. Oh. Oh, here we go. Busting out of the walls. Damn. Took both their heads off with one shot. Look at that. Shotgun's a beast. A little bit of iron. And an iron door. Here we go. Oh, an underground congregation. This is where the real worshipping happens, if you know what I'm saying. You know there are zombies in here. Wake up, bitches! Let's go. I'll just funnel them through this doorway. 
Oh, that was easy. All right, what do we got behind these curtains? Not much there. Trash and some beds. Those beds are totally for sleeping, you know? That's because that's normal. Bone. Good. More beds. And, uh, more beds. All right. Let's get the hell out of this fucking creepy place. Lumberjack! Come on, man! It's the house of God, not the house of pancakes. When is this place gonna end? Paper. Oh, here we go. Here's the good shit. Uh, stun repulsor mod? Yeah, I'll sell that. And I'll sell the other stuff as well. That chest is locked. We'll see if we can pick into it. I got a couple lock picks. Hey, a wheel. I'll put that in storage with our acid. Over at, uh, Trader Joel's place. Uh, robotic turret parts. We'll hold on to those. Because we just read the schematic for a robotic turret in the last episode. Blade trap schematic. Probably sell that, too. I don't see us adding electricity to any of our makeshift bases here. Um... Oh, look at that. You only need four pieces to make a level one turret. And, and some steel, 40 pieces. We can round that up. We rounded up 30 pieces for the motorcycle in the morning. Uh, I'll think about that. Let's see if we can crack into this thing here. Nope. I only had two, so... I guess we're beaten into it, which is fine. I mean, we got plenty of time. It's only seven in the morning. Eh, not bad. 55 rounds of 762 and a stun baton, which I will sell. And I think we're done here. Let's be careful, though, because there are definitely some zombies above us. All right. Let's get out of here. Here comes Mo. Oh, we got a little cemetery right here. Hey, thanks for that, Mo. Ah, not bad. I don't know where the other zombies are. Let's see if we can dig up some graves. That casket is already open. What about here? No? There's got to be a coffin here, then. This says Mad Mole on the grave. What? No coffin? Oh, that sucks. I guess this is a just-for-show cemetery. Let's go see Joel. Oh, got a mountain lion. Um, let's just get on the bike and go. See ya, bitch. Oh, this mountain lion is still here. I never harvested it because we had two full stacks of meat already. And now I got three. Might as well make the third stack a full stack. What you got for me, Joel? Oh, I'll take the 762. I got some stuff to sell him here, and then we're going to check his inventory out because it did restock today. All right, let's see what he's got here. Lock picks. Bottle of acid. You know what? Let's buy this because we have a wheel plus two bottles in storage. Now we have three bottles of acid and one wheel. If we ever want to craft the Jeep, we have what we need for four tires. Bullet casings. We need bullet tips is what we need. I guess we can always mine some lead and smelt it down in the forge. These pipe bombs are tempting, but I don't think so. Hunting rifle. It's just a one shot, though. Automatic weapons handbook. Automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. I'm buying the 762, and we should probably buy that uh, book as well. I mean, we got plenty of coin. Fuck it. I'll do the clear zombies. All right, let me throw this acid and this tire in here. And like I said, that's everything we need for four tires if we ever do want to craft the Jeep. Um, no. I'm going to put the robotic turret parts in the workbench. Look at these fucks. Don't they know treadmills exist? They could be running at home. Now 
Now, before we go do this job for Joel, I want to go check out the vet POI, and it's right down here, so let's go there first before I forget about it or before I get turned around. Yeah, this is it right here. I'm sure we're going to run into some zombie dogs here, but I'm ready for it. How do we get in? Well, that doesn't look promising. Let's check the other side. Oh, right through that window, I assume. What's this trailer all about? Got a backpack in here. First aid bandage, I'll take that. Probably gonna need it. And damn, is all this connected to the vet, POI? This might take us longer than I anticipated, but that's not a big deal. Doing it anyway. Should have the machine gun out, probably, in case there's a dog in the front lobby. Oh, there is a doctor, though. Oh! She looks pretty good. This is the zombie that replaces the uh, white lab coat zombie from Alpha 19. Door's locked. I guess uh, we're going through here. I probably should have the machine gun out. Level 1 pump shotgun and a lucky looter book. Find more brass in loot. Okay. I guess I'll read that. And I'm going to repair this pump shotgun and our pickaxe. We'll sell that level 1 pump to Joel when we go back to uh, get our reward from him. Now, this is where we're going to find some dogs, I imagine. The door's locked. Come on, you fucks. They gotta be in this little outdoor kennel here. I'm just hearing zombies. That's all I see. Alright, zombies are down. Where are these fucking dogs now? In here? Oh, there we go. Dead. Dead. Okay, two down. That's all I uh, see for right now. Nothing in there. Oh, I guess we're uh, going up this way. Take the gunpowder, and uh, it looks like we're going down into this little room here. Let's close that door. Check behind this painting. Nothing. And uh, nothing much else in here either. Oh, closet. Wake up time, bitch. Oh, oh damn. Hit the door. Uh, back up. Whoop. There she is. <laughs> Hiding under the rug. Um, you know, this is the one glitch I've seen over and over again. Them falling through the floor uh, in my time here playing experimental. And that's something I also noticed um, when I started recording this episode. That I'm still in B238 uh, experimental. Even though the build has gone stable. So what I need to do is change my beta settings because right now I'm opted into the experimental beta. I hope that doesn't affect this game in any way switching over to the stable version. I've heard from a couple of people that th their game was fine switching over so I'll probably do that before I start recording the next episode. Back outside, better switch to the machine gun in case there are some more dogs out here. Oh! Just zombies. Nothing to worry about. And the soldiers don't seem as tough as uh, they used to, right? It's like their armor doesn't work. 
Every time I used to hit a soldier with a sledgehammer, you get like this clank from their helmet. I don't get that anymore. Even though, again, still in the experimental build. Can't really speak on shit until I get into stable. That pump shotgun schematic, probably just sell that along with the other schematics because I don't think we'll be crafting guns in this series. Why is my motorcycle icon not up front? Why is it back here? Well, just another reason to switch over to the stable build because this experimental build likes to move your vehicle around randomly for some reason. Oh, <laughs> here we go. All right, uh, I'll make a note so I don't forget to uh, get into the stable version, and hopefully <laughs> shit like this doesn't happen anymore. Here we are, a little passing gas. This is that clear zombies quest for Joel. Even though before we get in there and clear out the zombies, we got to clear out all the zombies up front that followed me here. Oh, you little burnt bastard. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Can't stay still for too long. I'll just creep up behind you. Will you fuckers die? Shit. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked here. Oh, boy. Infected again. Abrasion. That's a good time. I don't think I'll be turning on Feral Sense for... My next series, I'll tell you that much. Because uh, the series I'm thinking about doing next is one I've mentioned before, and it is the City series, where we live in, like, uh, an apartment downtown, you know? Uh, I thought that would be fun, because we're just completely surrounded by uh, POIs and zombies, but if we turn the Feral Sense on living in a city like that, it would be too much. It is kind of fucking ridiculous, you know what I mean? It becomes... Less of a challenge and more of an annoyance. Plus, you wake up all the sleepers with feral scents on, so it's like there's hardly any surprises or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll turn it on just for night, because then that will kind of incentivize us to lay low at night and try not to stir up too many zombies, and that makes more sense. But to do it on all the time like I have it now is too much. What is this thing? Robotic Drone Medic Mod Schematic. I have no idea what that does. It sounds interesting, and if this was a normal series, I'd read it, but I think I'll just sell it. I don't see us getting a drone in this series, unless we happen to find one. Waking up all the zombies in here. They gotta be down below. Floor's giving out. Oh, here comes the stripper. She's dead. Shit. Uh, let's just use the sledgehammer. Boom, Moe's dead. All right, let me go grab a jar of honey out of the bike, get rid of this infection before it gets any worse. And we got to use a uh, bandage also to get rid of this abrasion. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gonna get another one right away. Fuck, man. Waking up the zombies up here. Three of them, and uh, no bird, as far as I can see. Dead. Oh, got them both. Oh, she's not dead. Now nah, she is. What? Oh my god, she wasn't dead. Damn. That's the toughest stripper I've ever seen in my life. Or she's just used to getting hammered, you know? I want to put my uh, gunpowder and bullet casings in the workbench. No reason to be holding on to them in our inventory. Oh, son of a bitch. What you got for me, old buddy? Weapons, flashlight mod, or 100 rounds of 9mm. Gotta go with the 9mm. I'll sell him some stuff, and then uh, I'm not going to do another job for him. Instead, there's a 
POI that I want to go raid myself. It's the uh, Realty POI. I think it's just right up the road from here. I think this is it. Hard to tell. So much damn fog. Yeah, this is this is it. Uh, Rise Realty. Been seeing this place around. I've been wanting to come check it out. That was a good time. If uh, by chance there is a horde tonight, which I doubt it. We just had one a couple of days ago. But if there is, this seems like a pretty decent place to fight a horde. And then uh, I'm thinking we get the hell out of this town in the next episode. Maybe head south, see what's going on, see if we can find uh, the wasteland or the desert, something new. Kind of over the snow biome. This fog is... Uh, gets pretty annoying. Bird! Come on! Bop! Paper, I'm good. Got a big pile of shit on this table. Oh, oh boy. Here they come. Oh, I guess we can climb up there to the second floor. Well, let's finish looting this floor before we do that. Grab these chairs. Scrap all of them for the leather. Got a kitchen area right here, and... This might be it for the first floor. Uh, come on. Maybe that's the only way to get up to the second floor. I mean, there was there was steps out front. Oh, the sniper rifle schematic, but just like the pump shotgun schematic. I think I'm going to sell that. And this hammer, that sells for quite a lot. Probably sell that, too. If this was a normal series, I would hold on to the hammer and get my hands on a, uh, a battle axe or a fire axe and, and hold both of those tools. But since this is Ramblin' Man and our inventory is limited, I'll probably sell it and just keep the stone axe, which can both destroy things and repair things. Alright. I guess we're climbing up here, then. Interesting. It's a hole in the roof. I'll have to get up there and see what's going on. That might be where the main stash is. Zombie in the corner there. Come on. No, oh, fuck it. Bop! Oh shit, I think I just saw lightning. Yep. I guess we are getting a horde tonight. Oh boy, that makes things really interesting. Um, alright. Let's finish looting this place. And we gotta figure out how we're gonna hold it down against the horde. There's the main stash. Oh, shit. Dog. Dead. It was a bird also. Oh, and a zombie too, I guess. Bop. Dead. Let's take care of that bird. Here we go. Boom. Sweet. Let's get back to Rise Realty. I just wanted to sell Joel some shit so I could free up some space in our inventory. Uh, my plan for this POI is pretty simple. We're going to hold down the front of the building. All we got to do is knock out some steps, put up some bars, and it should be pretty easy. Let's actually check around back real quick. I just want to make sure there is no other way the zombies can get up to the second floor. I want to search this van too. Nice. More shit to sell. All right, doesn't look like the zombies will have another way to get up to the second floor. So we need to knock all the junk off of the table. So they can't use that as a way to get up to us. And we got to knock out some of these steps right here. And we should be good to go. Oh, 
We got a crawler in here? Reaching through the blocks, isn't that some shit? Whoops. Gotcha. Ah, oh, the wood bars upgrade to cobblestone now, and then concrete. That's interesting. And then I'm assuming reinforced concrete and steel? You can get steel bars now? Is that how it works? I know you can still make iron bars, but you gotta do that in the workbench. Alright, now we can make this jump, and I'm sure the zombies can make this jump as well, so we're gonna put bars here as well, but I'm not gonna do that yet. We're gonna do that only if the bars down here start failing. Now we got more protection under here from birds. Let's put some bars here, so they can't swoop in on us. We'll just do wood, I won't upgrade these. There. There. Should be nice and protected down here. And then, like I said, if shit's going to hell, we can go up the stairs, make that jump, put in bars up there, and we should be fine. There we go. Now the sledge turret will do some work as well. Should uh, probably bring our bandages down. And the Molotovs. There we go. Okay. Moment of truth. Boom. Fuck out of here. Oh, Sledge Turret already getting some work in. Why are you guys going for this corner? Oh my god, please don't tell me they can squeeze right past into that opening. I didn't even notice that. Shit. Um, probably put some bars right there. Oh my god, that guy got through. Fuck. Well, that went to shit really fucking fast. Uh, come on. Good lord. Okay. Shit, it looks like they're still stuck down there, but I feel a bit safer up here. You know what? We should be able to um, still shoot at them from up here. Eh, that works. Let's come uh, around here. We could probably use some Molotovs. Yeah, look at this. Oh, stupid asshole. You gotta light him first. Yeah, burn, bitches. to get up. Come on. Oh, they're going to be able to use that block to get up here. Not good. We are bleeding out, though. We got to take care of that first, and then I can destroy that block with a shotgun. Yeah, fuck you. All right. It was a little risky going back down there and uh, fighting at those bars, but whatever. We got some good kills down there, and now we're back up here, and we're safe. Relatively safe. Now, if I switch to these cube frames, they look just like how frames used to look. Except, you can't pick these up. But what you can do is shoot through them. So, we can let the zombies pile on top of this cube here. And we can just blast away and we won't damage the cube. The zombies can damage it if they punch it, but we won't by shooting it.
Oh, jeez. Well, at least he was taking his sweet time. They keep getting up here, though. I think this is it. I think that is it. Well, except for this bird. Dead. All right, that was not so bad. Made a couple of mistakes. But that's, you know, granted. Because when you scramble in to try and figure out how you're going to hold down a horde with the last, you know, two hours before the horde shows up, uh, you know, mistakes happen. But we're alive, so can't complain. All right, looks like our sledge turret decided to do what the zombies like to do and slipped under the block, and I can't pick it up, so the only way to get it back is to break this block with 5,000 fucking hit points. Um, I'm pretty sure I got all the loot bags. Yeah, I mean, this is the only place we were killing zombies. Um, I guess I gotta do this because I want this sledge turret back. All right, there we go. Fuck. Uh, hopefully when I switch this to the stable version, that kind of shit stops happening. Now, I do have an abrasion on my hand. The only way to cure that is with a sewing kit. And I don't remember if there was a sewing kit in here that I might have skipped. That was a... ammo pile that I skipped. Nice. All right, I'm gonna use the rest of the night to see what I can take apart and salvage around here, and then we'll pick things up on the morning of day 14. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. It's New Year's Eve, so I hope you guys have a happy, safe New Year's, and I wish you all the best in 2022. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.